Good morning! So I've been using the iPhone 14 Pro. It's been about like 10 months since it's launched. I love this phone, but there's also some things that... Okay, so let's start talking about durability, okay? I do not wear a case on my iPhone. I haven't worn a case on my iPhone since I bought it. It's been 10 months. I do wear cases here and there, but I think 80% of the time I'm not wearing a case on my iPhone. If I'm traveling or if I'm going to the beach, yeah, I'll wear a case. I've got really cool cases and I, it's not that I don't like wearing cases. There's a lot of cases that if I like the design, I'll wear them, but I just like the feel that my iPhone has whenever it doesn't wear a case. So in terms of durability, right? An entire year, if we take a look at the scratches, you won't see many on the back. I do have a tiny dent over here when my iPhone fell in the ground. Over here, there's a scratch in the middle as well, I believe. So for not wearing a case for an entire year, I feel like, you know, this phone holds up extremely well. It's definitely a very durable phone. By the way, an update on the Lemon Home, I've officially painted all the living room white. We had a couple things here. Everything has been painted. Everything is beautifully white. A couple of updates as well. I've upgraded the HomePods to the HomePod second generation. As you can see, I'm actually going to use them as my TV speakers as always. And I've also added this. I've added the Eve light strip over here so I can actually change, finally change the color of the actual LED. Here's something extremely cool about the Eve lights is that they've actually got adaptive lighting. So with adaptive lighting on, Depending on the light of day, as you can see, that's currently the sun right now. That's the color of the sun. It matches the color of the sun. By the way, this is one of my favorite MagSafe products for the iPhone. Um, what's cool about it is that now with iOS 17, I've got this um, standby mode, which is sick. So I can have either my calendar or my stocks or whatever. It's pretty cool. It's just simply like a silicone um, case for the MagSafe charger. To a pool we're going to a dog pool it's going to be a really really fun day um because i mean if you like dogs if you like the iphone you've probably clicked on the right video apple is very excited right now and we're going to get uh Chenia's dog right now because she's coming as well come on let's go about the iPhone 14 Pro was the introduction of the A16 Bionic chip. Now, what's been my experience with it over the past year? It's been great. I mean, everything opens extremely, extremely fast. It was also supposed to help out with efficiency with the battery life. Now, we're gonna talk about the battery life at the end of the video, but so far, I am happy with it. I haven't noticed, obviously, massive changes compared to the iPhone 13 Pro, for example. But still, it's not a bad thing. The iPhone 14 Pro is an absolute tank. All right, we've arrived at Aqua Park Canino. I was here like two years ago. It was a lot of fun and Apple absolutely loved it. Okay, we're about to jump in the water. But before that, I wanted to tell you about the Insta360 X3. Now this camera is a 360 camera that, first of all, has this really long selfie stick 
But what's cool about it is that the actual stick is invisible to the camera, which is sick. It also shoots up to 5.7K, not 4K, 5.7K, does some really, really cool slow-mo. I'll tell you more about it later. Let's just put it to the test. Let's jump in the water with it, because yes, it also is waterproof, which is awesome. In terms of battery, the X3 has a 1,800 milliamp battery, which should last you for most of your adventures. It's a really good uh, battery, especially for being a 360 um, camera. And something that I love as well, which I'm gonna show you later, is the app. You know, one of the things that I hate about most 360 cameras is that it's kind of the pain in the to edit uh, footage in 360, but with the app, it's so easy. I'll show you later, but yeah, it's, it's so fun. Let's go back in the water. I mean, it's not like it matters, but I think in this channel it's tradition that whenever I start a vlog, it starts raining. So yes, it just started raining. Once again, it's not like it matters because the dogs, they don't really care about it and they'll have fun either way. But it's raining. We're gonna go eat now because I am starving. In my mouth is a desert. You know, the A16 Bionic chip, for example, is a feature that it's nice that it's there, but it doesn't really change the way that you use the phone. Something that for me kind of changes the way that you use uh, your iPhone is the 120 hertz display. Having ProMotion finally on the iPhone does make a difference. Now, of course, it isn't revolutionary, but it is really a nice feature to have. That whenever I go back to a standard iPhone 14, for example, I really notice it different. It's something that I miss. It, it feels weird. Obviously, I can live without it as every feature in, in every single tech product, but it definitely is something very nice and it makes the phone have this premium experience. Alright, the cost template is to actually edit 360 footage using the Insta360 app. So you basically just, you've got the timeline over here and you can zoom out or zoom in or select the part that you actually want to use. And then once you actually want to use that, you can just simply add a keyframe and then you can just keep adding and you can add another keyframe. And as you can see, what I just did, it keeps following it. So it's that simple. You just add keyframes and select what you want the, the video to actually see and everything is captured. So zoom in, zoom out. We made it to La Roca Village, which is, which is an outdoor mall slash outlets. Um, it's beautiful and we want some coffee and you know, I still gotta tell you a bunch more about the iPhone 14 Pro, including what I don't like about it because there's one thing that it's just, it always just gets me so frustrated about. Jenny actually has the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So I mean, if you're wondering which one to get, whether the Pro Max or the Pro, I'm gonna say the Pro Max. The battery life of this thing is absolutely absurd on how good it is. On the Pro, once again, I'll talk about it later. All right, let's talk about the Dynamic Island. And there's a lot of people that think it's overrated whatsoever. I think it's useful, I like it, and it's a way better solution than the Notch. Once again, the Notch, doesn't do anything the dynamic island does so it's not something fancy it's actually something useful and it's a really clever way that apple has implemented hardware with software probably my favorite feature on the iphone 14 pro
Today, at the end of the day, sure, it was cloudy, but it was so... But it was so hot that I kind of have a headache because we've been we've been doing so much. Anyways, I gotta tell you what I don't like about the iPhone 14 Pro, which you probably already know. I got a package first though that I wanted to open while I was out. It's currently 9 p.m. We've just been out all day. The pool is actually it was actually like an hour away, so it's a package from Govi. These are actually lights that actually adapt to the screen of your TV. So they're like LEDs and they will adapt to the screen. So if you've got like an explosion, there will be like lights, like an explosion. It's they also shipped me these two guys, the floor lamp. These guys look pretty cool. Okay, so what don't I like about the iPhone 14 Pro? And it's this, it's the battery, man. Like it's just the iPhone 14, the standard iPhone 14, has so much better battery life than the iPhone 14 Pro. And I suspect numerous reasons. One, the 120 hertz display. Two, the always on display. Three, it's just a better display overall. The A16 Bionic chip, it has you know efficiency in the chip. I get it, I'm sure it does, to adapt all these crazy new features like always on display and 120 hertz, but it's not enough. Like this is it. This is it all day. And I'm so jealous of Chenny's iPhone 14 Pro Max, for example. I mean, her phone hasn't died yet, right? Has your phone died? No. See, it's, it's currently 9.15 PM. How much battery do you have? Uh, 6%. 6%. See, so it lasts her all day. And we were using Apple Maps on her phone, music on her phone. We FaceTimed her family in the pool. So, you know, she was using her phone a lot today. Mine died at like 5 to 6 p.m. I did use it a lot today, but still, I mean, you expect an iPhone 14 Pro in 2023 to last you all day. And yeah, hope you enjoyed my honest thoughts about the iPhone 14 Pro after, after almost a year. It's crazy how fast this, this year is going. We're almost basically halfway through 2023 as weird as that sounds yeah anyways i'm tired i'm gonna go get a shower because we all smell kind of bad i have to get a shower too to walk the dogs we all smell bad that pool i mean it was clean but still it's a pool full of 